Hey everybody, it's Angela, and I have a two-page layout to share today. And let me just lift the camera up here, and I'll kind of show you the whole layout together. And then I will go just one page at a time. And I was inspired by a Glitter Girl at Two Peas in a Bucket and how she slowly kind of goes through her travel layouts and puts them in an album. And since I've only done a couple little mini albums uh, on some of my travels and I have so many pictures with stories, I thought I would go ahead and just slowly, you know, start scrapping some of those travel memories and getting them into albums. So this is the first one I did and I wasn't at my normal scrap room when I made it so I was limited in supplies and I used the Cosmo Cricut it's kind of like a camping themed kit and I used it for this um, trip that I went on in Mexico and we went to the Santuario Mariposa Monarca and to see the butterflies, the monarch butterfly migration and I had kind of two stories when I started looking at all the pictures so I thought well I'll do a two-page layout to try to tell those two stories. And essentially, I had been very, very ill in Mexico. And I got better, and I hadn't really eaten hardly anything um, since I had gotten better. And we went ahead to this town of Anganguel to go see the butterflies. And so I was pretty weak, but, you know, I really wanted to see it. I was feeling better. And when we got there... Um, I didn't realize how far of a walk it was going to be. So um, since I've come home, I went on Google Maps and I found the, the region. And essentially, this is where we parked and this is where I walked to. And um, it was epic. <laughs> but I made it. And uh, on here, you go through this little windy path and you go through a bunch of little... Um, shacks that have kind of sprung up along the way that sell trinkets and make food and all that. And then you get to the actual Butterfly Sanctuary building. And then it's kind of a paved stairway up to about in here somewhere. And then they were still building the rest of the trail. And it was pretty much switchbacks all the way up because what you're doing is you're going up to this, this high alpine meadow. So just think of a bunch of switchbacks going up there. And, um, my husband couldn't believe that I actually um, did it and made it up there. But unfortunately, I didn't take very many pictures because I just wasn't, I was concentrating on walking and getting there. Um, and so and my husband, he took this picture of me when we got to the actual meadow. So there's the meadow, and you can see it um, here in this photo. But when I went on to uh, Google Maps, they other people had linked photos to this area so I am so thankful to the people that linked their own photos because I was able to get this one of the butterflies kind of flying through the trees because this is what I saw but this is actually someone else's photo um, on Google Maps as is this one of all the butterflies um, on the ground they're kind of drinking some water and stuff that's on the ground and that's what I saw but I just wasn't taking pictures and um, and my husband didn't really take any pictures and we didn't really have a camera that was that great for that either so thankfully someone else linked pictures that I was able to print out to preserve this memory of this and I put some brown stickers um, I used all the Cosmo Cricut papers and um, I had some butterfly stamps, so I just stamped the butterflies on the paper and kind of fussy cut them out. I also punched some little flowers and put some sequins um, around, and then I did my journaling of the whole story on, it took several, um, several cards, but you just kind of, you know, and you can read through it. So that way I was able to get the whole story in there. And then I made the second page coordinate, because they'll go next to each other in the album. And this was the other part of the trip, and it was all the little buildings that we passed on the way up. And it so reminded my husband and I of the Wild Wild West and 
when mining towns spring up or when the railroad would go through and these little towns would just kind of spring up along there. It just so reminded us all the little buildings kind of just put together and they had ovens and they were um, uh, wood-fired ovens. They were making tortillas and, uh, you know, grilling some thin pieces of meat and selling all kinds of trinkets and things. And we got uh, lunch and I took a picture of it. I couldn't eat. Mostly I was subsisting on just tortillas and, you know, a little bit of rice and stuff, you know, because I'd just gotten over being sick. But um, this is what they were cooking, and it has the um, blue corn tortillas, beans and rice, some really thin uh, beef, and um, I can't recall the name of it right now, but the cactus leaves that you that you eat, off, I think they're off the um, saguaro cactuses. But um, I just used stickers that came with the um, Cosmo Cricket Collection and some more of the same thickers just uh, echoed the same butterfly um, punches and more sequins. And then like on the other page, I put my story on some more tags that also coordinated with the, the collection. So I had a lot of writing and stuff on there. And so that's kind of the first full um, layout for this new travel binder that I'm going to put together. And um, so be looking for some more. And if you have any questions or anything, just leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.